<clears throat> I usually go fleet recently. I don't think Yon really needs Conqueror for the most part. I mean, as long as you just don't sit in the daggers, it should be pretty easy. What's up, Koraz? Oops. Just push the first wave. Oh, they have a Mundo. I don't really think Mundo Drill was that good. Maybe. We'll see. Dude, he's like dead. Oh my god. Uh. I, wait, he had. He didn't have fucking Flash. I could've just killed him. I didn't really want to use both my sums to kill that guy. I could've. Hmm, maybe I should have splash ignited him. But yeah, actually then I would get double buffs. If I did not just wake up, I would have done that. Sag. My reaction time is not the highest. That's why Mundo Jungle's not that good. Okay, Shem's annoying. Dude, I'm so fucking bad when I just wake up. Jesus. Fine. Nah, but surely Katarina doesn't roam and get a double kill. Oh my god. Did not spend cat in the AMs. GG. Oh, yeah, one. Uh, there's a way I kill both there, maybe. Maybe not. Whatever. This window seems really bad. Mundo seems really, really bad, so that's good. Or Botlin is pretty bad, though. I haven't seen your stream. Yeah, your name looks familiar. I'm not just saying that. Your name does look familiar for sure. Oh. Okay. Got Berserkers. I think we're in a good spot as long as she doesn't roam bot. Care room now. As long as this room doesn't work, we're in a good spot. Yo, surely it doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Early morning is just the... Uh, I don't know. It's actually insane. It's like the more I ping, the more he gets pissed off and then just fucking runs it down. He's like, I am angry that you are communicating in the game. Fuck you. It's like, okay. <laughs> My bad. It's so weird. It always happens. Thing. I think we stay away from the bot lane. They don't seem very human. This account looks very sus by, yeah, I don't know. He mains Draven and has that IGN, so it's a little scary.
Okay, that's a lot of damage. We are destroying top lane too. Who's better? Yone. For sure. This is good. I don't really want to freeze against Katarina. I think freezing against Kat is usually bad. This kills your team. She's out of potions now. We get like two more good trades, or like one more good trade, then we get all in. I'm just playing complaining here. Get some pre plating, it's good. She's six. Mundo comes out of nowhere, I could die. This guy rushed Berserker Greaves on Mundo. Wait, why would you rush Berserkers on Mundo? Sounds bad. Good. Where's that? Fine. Rather annoying. Maybe I could have ulted out earlier. Just so I don't miss all this wave now. Kinda agree to my ulti. Eh, I don't know, I think it's fine. Who cares? I don't miss anything. I get to lane fast, you can't push it in time, it's a cannon wave. It's fine. If you get out. Rengar is super fed. I don't know who they were calling boosted in champ select. I thought it was the Rengar. I'm not sure. When do I play fleet? I usually play fleet now. I think Conqueror is just like not very good. Depends though. Depends on the lane. Just like this champion does so much damage that he doesn't really need conquer. So Yeah, we should even back. Kinda troll. Not like it's uh possible to hit third Q on a Katarina because she has E. No. Gotta keep pushing so she misses a wave. Yeah, like she, she's kind of stuck. She really trolled by not backing. We get heroes for free now. Oh my god, I actually missed that one. Sure. I thought she would try to juke, but she kind of just ran a straight line. Whatever. I don't kill her even if I hit it. If I try to stop her back, I actually just die to her. Honestly. Bot lane not trying to win. Oh my god, that Rengar damage. Oh! Nice. Huge. I missed the plating for that, trying to roam. Not worth it, I guess, but I don't know. I didn't know if I was needed or not, so it's worth the risk, in my opinion. I'm not really going to try to hit her there. Just going for the wave. Because I don't really like aiming my third Q at Katarina, because I know she's always going to E it anyway, so it feels like a waste of time. If she just E's it, and then I don't hit the wave either, it just kind of sucks, you know? But yeah, she could all in me. She's pretty strong now. If I like stand on a dagger and she ults and ignites, I could die. Uh. Seems really bad actually.
Got the Mundo ult and got her flash. Not bad. It's good, it's good. <clears throat> that was pretty good. Only support died. She actually sacrificed herself so everyone lived. It's really good by her. One TP for one kill, like, she really does not matter at all. Why am I getting worse at Yon? Is it because I play the champ a lot? I mean, some people when they play a champion a lot, they get worse at it. I don't know why. Like, I, I'm like that sometimes, so... Yeah, maybe just take a break from it. Maybe you're burnt out. If you burn out from a champion... Battery's probably going for the shutdown on top. What's up, Zenny? Why would I take TP on Yon? Never. I never take TP. I am bad at using TP personally, and I just don't like having it. I always like having Ignite. Uh-oh. It's kind of troll. I don't like this play. Oh, don't give it to... Nice. Giving it to Mundo is a lot better. If we give it to Cat, it would have been really bad. Keep getting tower damage, not even just not even get a harasser. It's not worth it. Hmm, it's a little scary. Whatever, I don't really care about it. It's just one last plating. I just want the better to wait for it to go down. It's like three autos instead. Good. Yeah. Like when a lot of challenger players don't even use TP correctly, probably shouldn't take it in Lolo. Like if you ever watch Dunn stream, holy shit, he's the worst TP user I've ever seen in my life. Okay, it's a joke. I need to flash right away. If I don't flash right away, Katarina just jumps on me and I die. So that's good. I get red buff. I think. I don't know, I just wanted to be safe. It was looking a little scary. Red buff is uh, a little OP on you, just a little bit. And we got first blood tower. Uh, this game should be pretty over. But yeah, I don't know. Katarina seems pretty easy to lane against as Yon, Yasser, or like anyone. You just, I don't know, you just don't stay on her daggers and how does she ever kill you? <laughs> That's why I never like playing Katarina. Nice champion, good work Tempe! Thank you, Dragoon. Thank you so much. Appreciate the kind words. My favorite Darius moon. Bye bye. That's a nice champion. Yeah, uh, I think we have like 10 days before this champ gets nerfed. I'm pretty sure on Tuesday we're gonna see some Yo nerfs in the PvE. Maybe. I would assume. I would assume the champion is not okay. What's up, Aurora? How you doing? Nerf Yas- Dude, if they nerf Yas at the same time, I'm going to scream. Also, this game is still losable. If we lose this dragon, we actually lose the game. Well, we don't lose the game if we lose the dragon. I should not be on Raptors. I need to help this guy. No. Nice. Katarina is going to be here. Think. Controlled. Okay. Nice. Could have been bad. 
Yeah, my category still seems pretty shit unless she gets like 30 kills in a row by, from Botlin. Surprised my ult even hit. But yeah, the reason I take Fleet recently is just like. You don't need Conqueror, dude. You don't need Conqueror damage. So literally 9 out of 10 solo queue games, yes. I mean, she does have the highest rate of any mid laner for a reason. Champion is stupid. That champion's design is just terrible, man. I've never played Talon or Katarina because it's just like the games that you win on Katarina don't even feel satisfying. It's just like, okay, well, I won because my teammate, the enemy is bad. It's like, how's that fun? Like, some, they have to misplay for you to win. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. I, I mean, that's like a lot of... It's not just that. It's like, yeah, every champ is about capitalizing on misplays, but like, Katarina is different. Like, Katarina just can't lane 1v1. Just stupid, man. Isn't Yasuo really bad now compared to Yon? Uh, I don't know if Yasuo is really bad, but he's definitely eh compared to Yon, for sure. I'm just gonna get my games over. Also, I heard an alert, but I don't see alerts, so I don't know what that was. Is set top good? Um, Dragoon in the chat? Dragoon, do you have any thoughts? First thing, I think it's bad. I think set top is pretty bad. I think he has good support, that's it. What's maybe Dragoon has more insight on it, because I know he plays it. It was my host, but okay. Thank you, Riven Batchamp. Appreciate that. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. I love you, brother. Appreciate the host a lot, man. Hope your stream was amazing. Someone at Dragoon in the chat. No way he left already, there's no way he's this fake. Yeah, it's a boring game. No. Maybe she face checks this. Why does he have Berserker Greaves on Mundo? I don't get it. That sounds so shit. Whatever. Who cares? Ow. Um, yo, they looked really cool. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, uh, I don't know. My bad. That was called the slingshot blade. I made a new combo. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, my bad. If that auto goes off and I ignite, he actually does. How insane is that? What? It was Zenny with the 200 bits. Thank you, Zenny. Love you, brother. Okay, close. Yeah, I need to close the window after this or something. It's like a giant glare on my screen, I can't play. Okay, I'm not there. Seems kind of bad, actually. Oh, you know, ulti, bro. That guy's like dead. That guy's dead, too. Oh, I can't get to range, Takuya. Sad. Um, I just wanted to kill someone before Dragon comes up, so you could just secure Dragon for free. That's why I used to- Like, if Dragon wasn't coming up there, I wouldn't use my flash ult. Because it's just a kill. But, if I use my flash to kill the AD carry there, it should just secure his Dragon, so. That's why I used it. 
Should be free now. Need to kill Cat. Night Harvester and Cat. I don't think Night Harvester is good on like anyone. Isn't Protobelt just always better than Night Harvester? Or am I capping? Like, why would Katarina need CDR over Magic Pen? Wouldn't you rather have Magic Pen on Cat? Night Harvester on Diana? Isn't Protobelt just better on Diana, though? I just don't like Night Harvester, man. The fact that, like, it has a 40 second cooldown, and, like, if you land Q on anyone, it just gets consumed. I mean, maybe it's fine on, on Diana, just because, like, you all in after you land a Q anyway. It's fine, but. I don't know. Uh-oh. That was a little awkward. Oh my god, he died so fast. Ah, what am I taking? That was kind of scary. These fights are actually kind of close. I don't know how. Mindo is scaling, I guess. I mean, it was a 45. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. It, it uh, procs up multiple people? Yeah, I know, but I don't know. It's just like if Katarina throws a Q at me in lane. And then I just heal it back because I have a lot of life steal. She doesn't have a mythic anymore. So it feels really bad for leaning. Maybe it's fine. I definitely do not think Knight Harvester is to play this game. Not against me. It's bad. Set top okay, not good, but not good. Have not tried the tank builds. You said you were asking earlier. Thank you, Dragoon. Go Bloodthirster. Yeah, I don't really see when you pick set top. Like, obviously set blind top sounds fucking abysmal. Because you just get counterpicked by, like, everything. So, obviously he's a counterpick. And I don't know what you would uh, pick him into. Don't fight without me. Oh, it's fucking juicy. Oh my god, that heal. He chucks his Thanos. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy first game.